dear viewers students greetings to all of you from srm classes today i am going to deliver my lecture on the topic introduction to map projection we have already uploaded a video on this topic which was done bilingually that is mixing hindi with english now let me start map projection which comprises two words map and projection first of all let me say something about maps what are maps maps are very important for our life because we need maps for our day to day activities every government plan needs maps for its smooth completion with the help of maps we study spatio temporal behavior of any aspect in the study of geography maps become the most important tool map making is dependent mainly upon map projection in atlases you find various types of maps of continents countries and so on the making of maps is a very old age practice it is going on for the last several centuries and has undergone mod modifications at present maps are being constructed with the help of computer known as computer cartography satellite imagery and gis techniques have brought about a revolution in map making let me now come to the second word that is projection the construction of maps is based primarily on some particular map projection depending upon what you want to show in the map the making of map projection began some 2000 years to 2000 years ago greek scientists did the pioneering work in this regard and used mathematical principles for this purpose the works of anaximander eratosthenes apotonius and hipparchus are some important contributors in this field the credit for making the first map projection as it is believed goes to thales of miletus around 600 bc it was a dynamic projection showing the entire universe map making as a, as i have already stated has passed through several stages and has undergone various modifications we will discuss the history of map projections later here we are concerned more about the concept of map projection projection simply means transformation from one surface to the other for example in a cinema hall what you see you see the small picture films are transformed into quite large ones on big screens the pictures of the small films are projected on the big screen having flat surface with the help of the rays of light let me explain this concept by another example with a simple experiment take a pencil and keep it tilted on a table here i have taken a register in place of table see how i am keeping this this pencil is tilted over here on this flat surface this is a uh, thing you should consider it as horizontal surface the register shows the horizontal surface while the tilted pencil is in another plane which is which is inclined to the horizontal plane this is the horizontal surface this is the pencil which which is inclined on this horizontal surface and this pencil is in another another surface another surface draw a perpendicular from the tip of the pencil see this is tip of the pencil draw a perpendicular from this and this perpendicular line will intersect this horizontal surface that is register at some point from this point of intersection 
draw a line up to the base of the pencil and this will be your projection of the pencil. This is very uh, imp uh, simple uh, I think explanation. Uh, similarly, in map projection what we do? In map projection, the curved surface of the spherical earth is transformed into a flat or plane surface. The whole go globe or a part of it may be considered for map projections to suit the objectives. The network of meridians and parallels is called by different names such as graticule and mesh. The meridians and parallels are known as grids. The points of intersection of the meridians and parallels can be located with the help of coordinates. Once the points of intersections are located correctly, the network of meridians and parallels can be drawn easily. Now I come to the classification of map projections. Projections have been classified under two broad heads, perspective and non-perspective. Perspective projections are those which can be made with the help of light, whereas the non-perspective projections cannot be made with the help of light. The construction of non-perspective projections requires the application of some mathematical adjustments. The perspective and non-perspective projections are also called geometrical and non-geometrical projections respectively. On the basis of the types of surfaces used for transferring the graticule of the globe, projections are classified into three broad types, cylindrical, conical and genital. All the types of map projections may have both categories of perspective and non-perspective projections. In cylindrical projections, the paper is given the shape of a cylinder and kept around the globe. The cylinder may touch the globe either around the equator or, or its axis or any other meridian depending upon the requirement. See how a cylindrical projection is being drawn as the, the picture uh, of cylindrical projection is there. You can see, you can see the cylinder. It is the globe is wrapped by a cylinder. Cylinder is made of a transparent paper, and the light has been kept at the center. And when the shadows are noted down, and when the cylinder is the paper cylinder is uh, unwrapped, you can see the shape of the cylindrical projection. Similarly, in conical projections, what we do? Cones made of paper are kept on the globe. It may touch any parallel between the poles and the equator. You see how here it is a globe, the center is O, N is the N axis, and you see uh, the cone A, B, C has been kept over the globe and it is touching the LM parallel. LM parallel, I will tell you, I will explain it what is LM parallel uh, when we discuss, when I discuss the mathematical construction of this projection. The, when it is unwrapped, the light has been kept at the center O and shadows are noted and when it is unwrapped, it looks like this. See this, this conical, the, it becomes a sector of a circle and LM parallel is also shown here, you can see. Now the third projection, that is genital projection. In genital projections, the flat paper is not given any shape. The paper may touch the globe at any point. In this projection, the paper may touch the globe either at the poles or at the equator or at any point between the equator and the poles to be called as polar, equatorial and oblique cases of genital projection. The position of light may also be changed to make the other subtypes of genital projections. The source of light may be kept either at the center of the globe or diametrically opposite to the point on which the paper is tangent on the globe or to be considered placed at infinite distance from the tangential plane to be known as 
nominic, stereographic, and orthographic projections, respectively. It means that when the source of light is at the center, it will, no, it will be nominic projection. Nominic projection, because of this property, is also called central projection. When the source of light is diametrically opposite to the tangential plane, it will be stereographic projection. And lastly, when the source of light is considered to be placed at infinite distance from the tangential plane, it will be orthographic projection. See that types of general projection, yeah, paper has not been given and shape. Paper is touching on the north pole, that is N. It is the polar case of general projection. Second is the equatorial place. The flat sheet of paper is touching at the equator, the Q point of the equator, and light is kept at the center. In polar case also, the light has been kept at the center O. Now it is oblique case. In oblique case, the paper is touching between pole and the equator and the light has been kept at the center. These are the, when we, it is unwrapped, when shadows are noted and the paper is withdrawn, you see this type of projection is developed. Concentric circles or parallels are there. Apart from these projections, which I have mentioned here, there are some other projections which are based purely on mathematics. These are known as conventional projections, which are quite useful because they meet some specific objective. Thank you very much. I think you have understood the concept of map projections. And when I start other classes on projections, I will explain the mathematical construction and derivation of the formula of different types of map projections. Thank you for my patient, for giving a patient hearing to my lecture. Thank you once again.